Hi, this is Loki with Blue Collar Prepping. About five years ago, I did a post on personal protective equipment. It was just kind of a, a general overview of the personal protective equipment to keep you safe on a daily basis, working construction or around the house, anything like that. And today I'd like to dig a little deeper into ear protection. At work today, I was running a piece of equipment that was quite loud and did have ear protection in, but it kind of drove home the, the different styles of ear protection and when they're appropriate and what you might, why you might prefer them. Uh, ear protection I wore today at work is these little foam in-ear plugs. You smash them down, put them in your ears. They seal up quite nicely. They actually offer the highest reduction of noise available amongst common ear protection at 33, 34 decibels, um, which is a very dramatic decrease. They're also the most ex inexpensive style of ear protection. Um, this particular style of earplug can be bought on Amazon, 50 pack for about 12 bucks, a 200 pack I think is about 30. In fact, all of the ear protection I'm going to show you today comes in at under $50 because you can get some very fancy, very nice ear protection that costs hundreds of dollars, but it's not very blue collar. I kind of choke on those price tags and I can get the same ratings with not as many very fancy Cadillac features for far less money. As so I said, 12 bucks for a 50 pack, 30 bucks for 200, and they're disposable, I mean, you don't them for the day, you throw them away. I literally hung on to these just long enough to show them to you guys. As soon as I get done here, if they're going in the garbage, I'll grab another pair tomorrow if I need them. The next set, traditional, I call them a dumb earmuff. It just goes over your head. They adjust to different head sizes. Uh, absolutely no fanciness to them. Noise reduction of 22, 23, 24 decibels, which is respectable. It gets the job done. Um, last forever, at least until the plastic stuff wears out. And some of them have replaceable ear cups, so they will last as long as you can get parts for them. Um, available for 12, 15 bucks. I mean, some of the really, really comfortable ones are as much as 40 to 50 dollars, but 10 or 12 bucks work really well. Uh, I do use them for shooting mostly, uh, yard work, things like that. Downside to this style of muff is it is a very large cup to insulate your ear, so it doesn't work as well if you're getting down on a rifle. It can interfere with your, your cheek weld but for yard work, construction, things like that, they work wonderfully and they're cheap enough that if they wear out, you can buy a new pair. On the much fancier end is an electronic set of ear protection. And this set has a microphone on each side and a control right here to adjust the volume. Volume controls, right? Pretty cool. So, again, fits over the head, adjust down, uh, you turn it on, and it activates a noise cancelling circuit, as well as an amplification circuit. So, I turn these on, and I can turn them up, and it will actually make the spoken word louder than it would be without them. Which is kind of a weird feeling to have your protection on, and to be louder, but it's really, really nice in a gun range or other loud area where you're trying to communicate. You can actually hear better. But if it receives a sound input on the microphones louder than a set point, it actually cuts all of the sound out and goes to a completely dead uh, ear protection mode. Give you the same 22 to 24 decibel noise reduction rating as the other muffs do but this one actually doesn't impede your ability to hear and a lot of your situational awareness. I can actually wear these while I'm hunting because I can hear animals, I can hear things move until I fire a shot and they cut out. They also have a headphone port on them, so if I'm doing yard work with Mon and I want to listen to music through them, I actually can run a 3.55 or 8th inch headphone jack down to my iPod and I can listen to music and if something loud goes on, they cut out. Uh, again, about 50 bucks on Amazon, or sometimes you can find them as low as 35 or so if you catch them on sale, local sporting goods store, or 
So it was on Amazon. Um, very well worth it. You'll notice they are a much slimmer ear cup because they don't rely on the space and the air as much as they do the noise cancellation circuit to protect your hearing. There are two other kinds of ear protection I don't have handy. There are is a reusable in-ear, like a plastic earplug. You can reuse them, so you're not they're not as disposable. They cost 10 bucks, 12 bucks. You can use them for a month or whatever. When they get grody, nasty, and you can't clean them anymore, you just throw them away by any pair. There's also an in-ear electronic style noise canceling, so very similar to these muffs, but fit in your ear, like I said, the Apple iPods, I think they call them, or I, iBuds, whatever they call the ear pod things for the iPhones, um, or the Galaxy Buds, and they, they have that same noise cancellation circuit, and they seal up tightly to your ear canal, and that's where they get the the noise reduction. Uh, they're not, those aren't going to be a 33, they'll be in the, the, the 20s. And when you buy ear protection, you look at, it'll say NRR, noise reduction rating. And that's the decibel rating that it will drop off. And decibels are a logarithmic or exponential scale. I don't completely understand, but you can see the chart. If you look, if you pull up, if you Google decibel chart, it'll tell you what different decibels are. Jet takeoff, gunshot, rock concert, the, the thing that has damaged my hearing more than anything else. And that will tell you, hey, I can take it from, say, a jet taking off to a rock concert, or a rock concert to a loud conversation. And that's how far it's bringing it down to protect your hearing. And the in-ears, because they seal up better, they give you a higher NRR, but they're not as comfortable. You Wearing those all day starts to, to get old, they start to hurt. I can wear these for an eight hour day and take them off once or twice just to wipe the sweat off of them and that's it. Uh, earplugs, I'm, if the opportunity arises, I'm taking them out every hour or so to kind of let my ear relax for a minute and then putting them back in. Um, so check your NRRs, figure out how much you need and how long and how often you're going to be wearing them and make use that to make your decision when you're purchasing your hearing protection. But for the love of all you hold dear, please use it. You only get one set of ears, and otherwise you end up like me, middle-aged, and your ears are shot, and you have a constant ring. Because I didn't use ear protection when I was younger. So learn from my mistakes, please. Invest in some good ear protection and use it.